much. Uh, What's that true? Why is it so down, though? Our nights. What are they? What's going on? Pretty crap idea, sleeping at the clogs. Unless you don't mind some clever little beast making off with your coin pouch. Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, master. A quarter sand is like a rat catcher. Good. Loud enough to wake the dead. Strange. Can't hear anything now. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. So, noises coming from here. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Louis de Corentin. Died on the day of St. Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... some dwarf! Disgusting... Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lebioda's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? 
This is a private conversation. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. Neighbors? Everyone here is dead. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging the misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The Prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The decorant towns. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! I see you fell for that pious tart dribble. Drat! Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah. Uh. Once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Also looking for that Gwent club? What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? 
So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. If I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. City through the Cooper's Gate, then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask? What you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or a privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Ah, just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punt has bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here, for your trial. Thanks. Geralt! So content to see you. Le Papillon Troubadour, remember? Hey there. I've never found the opportune moment. See, I never had a chance, in fact, to say I'm a devoted fan. Hmm. Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. I know the bards, every ballad in this cycle about the Witcher. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something from me? Indeed. A matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotofic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur and a witter who'd prevail. What happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing, but are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean-Louis is never late to work. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Fine, see what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course. You shan't even notice me. Jean-Louis Studio is just there. Right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. Thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the cult she rides. 
today, all remember my fine couplets at the tawny? Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking it down. Ready or not, here I come! What's got ah! you so excited? Let's go inside. Empty pomade jar. <laughs> strong floral fragrance. <coughs> uh, very strong. Hmm. Scissors are completely dull. No way you could use these to cut hair. Locks untouched. No attempt at forced entry. Action. This jar is empty too. Twist. The precincts all wrong. The coiffer's log. A manicure, curling, centrian pendulum, Rivian ponytail, raftsman's do. Hmm, long out of style in Novigrad. Ah, uh, his appointments. Last one was a certain Lady La Pompadou. Know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean-Louis done her hair for a decade. Completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. Does this mean anything to you? I may understand where it points, but if so, there's not there, just fields and meadows. Think I understand. As do I! Around he looked, yet all was quite proper. I see razors, pomades, but no blasted hair chopper. Mind being quiet for a minute? Think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No evidence of a break-in, no signs of a struggle. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out of pomade. Yes, indeed. He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. Splendid either way. Think you could find the place using his map? Naturally. Lead the way then. Shone in its eyes your glow, sent marking times like Curtis equal flow. They ventured beyond walls by vines entwined, into the oh, unknown the poor barber to find. Gonna do that the whole way. Bidding them farewell, the gravestones must covered. They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered. <sighs> Behold! The location from the map! Damn it! Get back! <laughs> what beast was that? An Arcaspor. Might there be more nearby? Who knows? And your sharpened senses, what do they say? That you'd rather turn and run. Oh, <laughs> a primo jest. Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. You will, will you not? On to the second point on the map. The witch's blade flashed juices, faulted and poured. Covering all about in an archispore's gore. No piece of the stylist fell from its bowels. The frisser had been nabbed by aught else most foul. There! Jean-Louis Pasquet! I'd recognize it anywhere. He was here. We can be certain now. 
A basket of flower petals, same smell as the pomade. A clue! I think I found one! No, no, seems not. Grass is trampled. Multiple sets of footprints. A little blood. Seems you were right. He ran into trouble. Phew! What luck! I just hope it's not Cyclopes. Hot pressed to find a rhyme for that. So? On his trail yet, are you? made of rock. Trails gone cold. Wandered deeper into the cave. My, a Taxotakis. To prod one to fear. Fear uninspiring? No rhymes at the ready? Trust me, Senan. This quaff is the lady dredge. At the Kaviri court, they'll have nothing else. No damsel will manage to resist. Bolo balls! Pure poppycock, you beard mangler! The latest rage in some bomb botched covir. We're in Nilfgaard, you bong munch! What did he do to you? What did he do? He quaffed me, gave me a duck's ass, an ape drape, a beaver bottle. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tourney. I'd have proved my valor! Mamma Sel Vivian that have read my prize! Then this scallywag with his talk of the rage missed my chance by the hair on my head! Got him back good from what I can see. That is but the start. I've not yet decided if I should snip off something more. Doesn't seem terribly chivalrous. What about honor? Your oath on the peacock? All that? I do vow on the noble bird, I shall gut you if you do not skedaddle! Onward! Stand and fight! I challenge thee! And you boys dare not intervene! By golly, by gum, this will be chivalrous! Listen, children, a story you shall hear Of a witcher who walloped a rogue knight's steady hair I'm noting it all down! Grown rather late. I believe we'll be on our way. Le Papillon, let me hold his wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean Louis Ludovic, I presume. Let's get out of here before he. Quiet, both of you! I've got it! They froze in their fear, the knights, henchmen, and squires, while his bowel set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him into lacerated, his neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. Then he hobbled a pace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess.
Bravo. Almost believed you were there. Doesn't it seem so? At last, Master Tantilion has a worthy competitor. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually? Meaning you're broke just now. <clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need that come by. Mm, thanks. Take care now. Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancombe is no ordinary fighter. Mancombe? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancombe is a saddler, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his reposts are sharp. Fine. Let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum-butching, blackened, bile-filled blister. Think you're confused. That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. You aren't worthy to empty my sister's bedpan. You mange-ridden mutant, not even a man! Should've quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Why, you... bad... Uh, uh, I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, you've won. The Witcher wins, beating Mancombe at his own game. You out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. Two more champions to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still waters? is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mountbank Alley, while Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in Saint Sebastian. Shall you face off against still waters? Shall you? Shall you? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. And gentlemen, the Witcher defeats the previously invincible Stillwaters. And what about it was? Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks? What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. 
Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. Now only Colossus stands between you and a chance at the Maestro. San Sebastian, that's where you should go. Look for the largest courtyard. Oh, now you look to be a man in search of exertion. Hey, White Blocks, will you dare to fight Colossus? Fine, let's fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am, too quick for you. It'll be knick-knack, putty-whack, kiss your armball. Where's the sport in it? Don't want to fight? Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. Whoa, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me, not once. Just deflect my blows, got it? Catch three of them, and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever done it. Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? Fine. Doubt I'll have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups, not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. The Witcher has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your due. Thanks. You've earned my esteem, sir. We've not seen such a feat in years. And thus, you've secured the right to challenge the Maestro himself. You'll find him by the docks. This where I find the boxer they call the Maestro? Maestro, champ, the undefeated. Folk call him many things. You are the witcher who dropped the three lesser champions? I am. Come to fight the maestro, but it seems to me he's indisposed. Alcohol is the maestro's remedy for his crippling shyness. He's a delicate man, you see? He'd never so much as hit a pillow while sober. Fighting sober is like dancing to silence. Let's go. I challenge you. Hold on. Whoa. I'm a man of principle. I keep to a code. I don't tinkle where I eat, and I don't fight folk who don't drink. Meaning? Meaning you're to drink, or hey diddle diddle out of here. Sheesh. Fine. Mesdames, messieurs. The maestro will perform, at last! <laughs> Let's do this. Happened in years. Your fists, they're glorious. Thanks. I'm gobsmacked, I am. I have to drink it off. Oh, good fight. 
To speak through, I'm pleased you stripped me of the title. I shall have more time to pursue my chief interest now. Witcher Geralt of Rivia is hereby crowned Fisticuffs Champion of Beauclair. Bravo! Behold, your trophy. A life without liquors like loving without licking. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this, I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer in chief. Our turn is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see, to spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skelligan, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit, the rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Kreite, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defies the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skelliger's no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Hmm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot, play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself. I do intend to play a Skellige. Already got a good enough deck to play in the tournament of Skellige. Might I have a peek? You do indeed. Come back in two days' time, then, for the start of the tourney. What they call it, blasting devils? Are you doing, men? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling! If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infestor will twist my plums off! 
Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something, an exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with a cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Enough! Enough! No need to so panic! Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! Demanding higher wages for hardship. Poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the blotters. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterf had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious Infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy, unlucky as all hell. Right, now where do I start? Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left them clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Blood. 
dragon it must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Traces of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Smells like... Dragonhead must have attacked a local distillery. Bastard. larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal. Then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Flew off together. Probably bound for their nest. here. Nest's up there. I bet the farm on it. yet. Need to burn the whole nest. Have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest. Eggs? Everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. 
we're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architect wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work! Allow me to walk you away, Master. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. <laughs>